Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Facebook was acting up earlier. Oh my goodness. I was like recording and it was pitch black. Yeah. I was like, okay. So let me tell y'all. So you know, like how, hey Tanya, hey India. So you know how there's always these challenges. So I realized that I am in a constant challenge. My challenge is not to fall asleep while I'm talking to the good people on the phone. And my challenge is to stay up. And my challenge is to get through this here. But I do want to show y'all a couple of things. So happy challenges. Hello. Hello. So I got on my fierce beauty wig. I put them, I put them flexi rods. Gotta put them flexi rods on it like a week ago. One of my homegirls said, I got to do the Tina Turner rolling on the river for the curls to fall. But I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Because before it was so straight. But now I'm like, okay. I'm going to fix it up. So as you guys can see, I've got on new makeup on the side. or natural. I did my brows and I did a little bit there. And this side I've got ooh, my unique products. It looks like I got a dent right there. That's funny. Got to blend that out there. It's amazing on camera what you can see. All the, ooh, but that's okay. Because with makeup. We'll just buff that out a little bit. And I'm not using a mirror, so let's hope that it goes okay. So, yeah, I actually went with some, like, deep purples and some green. I kind of feel like I look like the Joker now that I did that, but, you know, on the wheel, you can do that. Yes, I'm glad that you made it too, Tanya. I know usually it's like you always catch the replay, which is fine, which is fine, which is great. And just so you guys know, I you can follow me on Instagram, and you can also follow me on um, YouTube soon. I have my YouTube channel. It's going to be coming out. I posted some of those videos. So it won't just be makeup and, um, it won't just be makeup and like me. It's just my total journey. So I'll be reintroducing myself and all that good stuff. But today, you know, been the weather is, it's getting colder and I'm noticing, you see like how pale I'm like looking extra pale. So I've got some concealer on already. As you can see here, this is like nothing. So I brighten, I brighten this side up a little bit. And I did my eyes. I did a little, did a little, you know, the kid did a little something. And I got on my balm. So I'm going to go in with my two. This one is cashmere. And this one is suede. This is a little bit darker. But what I'm going to do, and this is the first time I'm doing it. Hey, Marvin Peace. That's my brother. Hey, 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 hey. What I'm going to do is mix because, um, like I said, you know, in the winter, you know, your skin gets lighter. There's not as much tan. You don't get as much sun. I'm going to see how these two are going to do together to kind of give me more of a bronzer look and see how it goes. So, got my makeup brush here. Let's do always shake it up. I smell like baby bottom. So, what have you guys been up to? This has been a long week. I started a new job. So, it's like week two, I made it. You know, the people always said, you made it through the end of the week. And I was like, yeah, because how more and Lauren said it in, um, was it college road trip? You and the pig, you're looping me. I'm going to need for people, when they have trainings, I'm going to need for them to come up with plan A, B, C, D, and E. All the way to Z. There's 26 letters in the alphabet. So I put a couple of drops there. Not many, because I'm only doing half the face, because I want you all to see the contrast and how it goes. But anyway, back to my story. And this is all tying into life decisions. You get to say, do I stick with this or not? So, you know, and I understand that technical stuff happens. So it's a virtual training we're online. And this is the biggest class I've been a part of, 280 people. So naturally, and now here we go, we got them both. So let's see what I get. So naturally, there are 280 people. This is like our supervisors. This is the instructors, trainers, like everybody there together. This is a yes story time. Hey, Linda. Hi, Loretta. How are you? Thank you for joining. So, yeah. So, I'm sitting in there. Um, you know, so we're sitting in the class. And like I said, it's virtual training, which is really great. I'm just going to go ahead and dap this on. Ooh, it might be a little bit too dark, but I was like, where's the other one? Looking like Cocoa Krispies. You see both of them, the colors. Because like I said, I've been looking kind of pale. I was looking at some of my pictures, and I was like, ooh. Um, so we're in the training. It's great. Oh, this is actually turning out okay. Because like I said, I was looking at my pictures and I was looking really extra pale. My daughter, my daughter came last week with, um, the rugby team. They didn't win guys. 
I gotta tell you about that story too. So we're in the training, it's like 280 of us, right? And I'm just going and I'm sweeping and this is, this is one of the brushes that we have what you need. Oh wow, I'm really liking this guys. It's smooth and like I said, it doesn't have that makeup-y smell that it's like, oh, you know, you have a product that's really good and then it's like, oh, but it smells so, like it's, it's got a stench and it doesn't have an odor. It actually really smells like baby powder. I was like, ooh. So, and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm covering this side because I want you to see the contrast the difference. And I've always had to do more than one foundation in order to try to get, you know, get the achieved look because I'm like so many different colors. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it back because you definitely wanna get your neck. You wanna get, definitely wanna get all here yeah so we're sitting in class and not once not twice not three not four not five not six several times during the training of course go we're going to the go-to webinar it crashes you know then we're also while we're in there because we have multiple um screens we're um we're trying to get into all these systems and learn you know what we're going to be doing with the job which is really great i think it's phenomenal with the home shoring that people like myself who have a hard time that um can't get around you know disabled workers single moms who have trouble with like trying to find um a baby you know child care um hey nicole hey kalima hey Charlene, what's going on what's going on um, it's really difficult sometimes because everybody can't get out. Like if you don't have a car, if you live in like rural areas where you can't, you know, definitely work from home is it. I've been working home, you know, from home now three years and it worked out. You know, it really has worked out for me because that was around the time I started having health problems. And guess what? Bills still come. Life still happens. You know, what do they say? Like 99% of your problems, point nine 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 is it's money or whatever. So, yeah. So it's really good in that sense because you can kind of work it out. You know, it's kind of tough when you have like small, small kids, but if you have older kids and you set them on a schedule, you know, it'll work. Guys, I'm really, really liking this. And if I just want to put some more debt, I might just use a little bit more. Honestly, I'll just go because that's just me. Because like I said, I've been looking so, so pale. Just to kind of get a bronze and see really i don't even have to um contour really because i can just use the duck that's why i like the darker colors so always not to worry because sometimes if you're looking online and you're trying to um you're trying to match your colors it's hard to match it online because first of all you have to be in natural sunlight with no makeup to kind of truly see what is your match and then people put it on their face that's not really a true match you got to kind of go by your neck well i ain't really got a neck i just right to get my Yo, mama, different. Y'all mind all that. So, around this area, <laughs> y'all laugh at me. So, around this area here is really where you want to kind of swatch. It's a little bit of annoying, but I always bring a good friend with you that's going to tell you the truth. Not people like, oh, girl, that look good. They're lying. So, yeah, you go there and then you let the lady at the counter look at it too. And you look at, let her take a, a, a picture with it, with, with the flash, without the flash, and you look. And then you'll say that because then you're going to be having to do like I'm doing here blend, which I don't mind because we get story time. Yeah. So then yeah, I've actually kind of browns it up too. And I don't really have to do too much. So this actually worked out for me because it looks really dark. Like I wouldn't use it by itself because that's not my color. But then look at this one here. It's pretty light. That's like I said, that's casual. But together, um, it works. So I use a little bit more for that because that's the achieved look that I want. Um, and I'm just still using, I'm, you know, I use a little bit more because I wanted to do that there. So here we go. So here you see, and because I have hyperpigmentation, you see I'm really dark there. And I have a lot there as well, too. So you see that good point about matching foundation. Yeah, because I, listen, I'm going to guys, I'm going to tell you the truth. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, but I want you guys to look good. You know, the holidays are coming, you know, we have the holiday parties. Who doesn't want to look snatched? Who doesn't want their eyebrows looking good? You want it looking good. The last thing you want to look like in the pictures is a ghost or look like, they're like, well, did she just come back from Aruba? Like, there's something off by her. I can't quite tell. Hmm. So my goal is, even though I'm, look, I'm wearing makeup, I don't want to look like it's all caked up. And you guys tell me the truth. Does it look like that it's too much? It's got a little bit of a shine to it like that. 
And then you just want to bring it down as well. I only did half because, like I said, I wanted you guys to see the difference. Hey, Stephanie, how are you? Thanks for joining. So, yeah, I was going to tell another story. What was the other story? India, remind me. It was something. I don't know what I'm talking about, too. Oh. But anyway, so we're in the class, and we don't hear anything. We're just sitting there, and we're just, you know, so I got on my headset, and I'm just. Now, that was 30 seconds, and that was like, you know, you're like, okay, what, is she going to say anything? So I think this went on for like 15 minutes and she would jump back in like every five minutes, the primary presenter. And she was like, okay, he's going to come back. Girl, why the, hey, Denise, why? Ooh, too far. Girl, it is, it's the truth. So we sitting around there. Now she said, guys, if anything happens, I'll play a little music. So, you know, we did, she had a nice little, she had like, like a top 100s list. So it was like all different genres. I love every kind of music. It was really nice. But then it was, we back to this. I got to give you all the full effect. Put my headset. Just sitting up here. Let me give, let me give y'all the full effect. Y'all, y'all laughing at me, but truly, because this is my that's why I do my stuff too. So we, I have it off my head, and I'm just. Now I'm like this. Now I'm thinking, did I double mute myself? Make sure it's connected. Yeah, so we're sitting there. And this happened. This happened a couple of times. So I was just like, um, yeah, we were getting paid. And I was like, yeah, but I, I you know, and definitely I'm like, yeah, of course not. I would definitely be going crazy if we were. But I just feel like I'm at the point right now that, and everybody should feel this way. Hey, Gustavo, how you doing? I think like, this is how I believe. Your time is so valuable and you can't get it back. And I made an investment to stay and work with this company to learn these things. They're giving us four weeks, right? Four weeks of training and one week of nesting where we actually start taking calls and helping people and so forth. And um, I want to be prepared. I don't want to be like, oh, so you went to, through the training, what were you doing? You know, because then people throw you under the bus. Like, uh, no, hey, Miko, what's going on, girl? What's up, y'all? So you need... Yeah, so like no music after she said, now this is week, we just finished week two. So this happened in week one. Okay, now we understand there's some things you cannot control or whatever the case may be. Um, but to just be sitting there in silence, make small talk. Just So like the last five, through the last three minutes of the 15 where there was like dead air, she decides to ask everybody where they're from. Girl, there's 280 people in this class. Who, what? By the time you find any people raising their hand, right? So it's an alphabetical order. And then it was people in overflow. Because we're like at our class. And then we were in like in Skype in a separate room where we're talking within our team. So I don't know how they say it's like 12 people in the team. So you do the math, right? So we're on the team with our supervisor. And we're like, okay, is anybody when they're putting in questions, like, are you getting answers? Are you getting answers? So now we type in each other. And we're like, are they ignoring us? <laughs> I was just like. So he gets back on and I'm like, okay, we passed this. So then he says something like, oh, don't worry, guys, you'll get plenty. Don't worry, you'll have plenty of time to do this and, and we'll have time and we'll make up the time and all this other kind of stuff. And I'm sitting up there going, when people tell me that, I get nervous. I've had bad situations and I know that every situation is different. And so you should gauge it differently. But this is the thing. It's not like I'm in the actual you know, call center where the supervisor can, you know, do rounds and come over and say, hey, are you doing okay or whatever? Like, she's in Arizona, she's in California, she's in Oklahoma, she's got to answer this question. And bless their hearts, you know, people do the best they can, but what, you know, and it just made me realize for myself, for what I want to do in forward thinking, to consider those things. Because you think about it, if you're home and like, I'm in my room, there's nobody here. I mean, you guys are here with me, which is great. Ah, Kaz IG, hello, hello, hello. That's too many people. Where are you on the phone? Yeah, indeed. I came late. What class is this? <laughs> you so funny, Stephanie. Well, I was I was showing I was showing my two um this side as you can see there's no makeup. And then I was showing my um my two I have to I have to mix my um 
foundations to try to get the achieved look. So I was saying like how it was, um, it's getting dark, you know, it's winter now. So now, you know, in the winter time, your skin is lighter because you don't tan as much and in the, tan, in, the, in the summer, it's a little bit darker. So, you know, there's not an exact match. If you can find it, God bless you. But, um, you know, if you don't have that struggle, great. So I've got I've got suede and I've got cashmere as you can see. Cashmere is a little bit lighter and then dark there. So if you mix the two, you know, I've created this look. And then what I actually did is a little bit of contouring with my brush there to kind of give me bronze because when I'm taking the pictures, I've got I got a three la uh, three bulb lamp here and then I got one face and I, it washes out. So when I take the pictures for you, you know, yeah, you guys can see the color like and I did extra and I still see that thing there skipping on us. Um, so when I take the pictures for you so you can see the products and how they definitely work and decide if it's for you, that I don't look all washed out. And I knew this from before, even like when I was in school, we did a lot of dance stuff and we put on makeup and they always taught us, you know, you have to kind of put on extra makeup when you're going to be in front of lights because, you know, when the light hits you, it washes you out. It doesn't matter what your complexion, if you're fair, if you're very dark, you'll just look muddy and you know, you'll just look. And I was looking, I was like, oh, I need to, oh. So, yeah, so I had already did my eyes off camera, and I did that, and I did I did my lashes as well. So this one is actually, I did the, the liquid liner, and I did the transplanting gel with the mascara. I did a couple of, I did a couple of uh, layers just to kind of get the effect of, you know, just full eyes, and then I lined my eyes. So, again, you can see the difference, and this is my conflict within self you know you only need one person to have conflict one person can have conflict so you know this could be that's my look there with my this is and i was talking about how matching you should match against your um here because here is not really a true match because what happens if y'all don't mind this i was mixing colors there so what happens if now with me, when I used to drive, I used to keep my hand out the door. So now this hand is darker than this hand. And then you trying to match it. This and then you look like, and then it's like when people are going, it's nice, but something's off. I can't quite put my finger on it. So yeah, and then I was talking about, hey, Chris, hey, Emily Jones, what's going on? Love when the fellas come, they always give the male perspective is it clown makeup is it not is it good i was doing half and half i did my little mixes there yeah so yeah so getting back to the arms um, to the cause of the story so then you know so then all of a sudden we get kicked out of the go to the webinar the meeting and mind you again like i said we have four weeks of like training and we've got to be able to get on the phones and people are going to be calling expecting us to be the experts right you call and you have a claim or or you call and you want to see is this going on is that going on so you expect them hey when you say thank you for calling blah 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 my name is jay marie that's usually what i go by because they'd be like jaho jaho that's another story time yeah you're expecting me to know so you know Great. So I'm from home. They don't know that I'm home because, you know, home shoring and so forth. They think that I'm in an actual call center. Nonetheless, it's the same thing. They send the, they send the computer with the program. We've got, I've got to learn the program. So that's for the four weeks of four where they're showing us what we're doing, why we're doing. Theory is great. So I'm taking notes. I got a book, everything. And now it's time to navigate because for me now, you guys tell me what you think. I, you can explain something, and this is how I did great in subset, subset, some subjects in school, and other ones I struggled. Now, I, I did pretty good in school. You know, I did all right. You know, I wouldn't say I was like the smartest, but I, you know, I, I did very well, and then I ended up going back and I got my master's um, after, as an adult, as an adult learner, because I realized what my strengths and my areas of improvement on, or as people say, weaknesses, right? So, I have to actually do it. Otherwise, it won't make any sense to me. So if you're saying to me, okay, and they, they have like some screenshots, which kind of helped me out a little bit. So you want me to go in here and you want me to learn to access this person and you want to go by certain criteria and there's HIPAA and you got to verify and this and that. So the person is explaining it and they're going and they're just clicking, they just click and click, click and click and click and click and click. You're still funny like when you were in school. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I try to be. I do my best. I do, I do. So he's just clicking away. So at one point, we don't hear anything. I told you we were like this. I had my headset on earlier. I was showing y'all like the whole, oh, let, me, let, me, let me do my little. So, you know, this is me. 
I'm gonna knock out everything. So at one point, you know, I'm like, yeah, and I'm like with my book and I'm right, boom, and there's two screens, and I'm like, boom. Then I don't hear anything. So you know, I'm like this, huh? Because I'm known to mute, but I'm like, I'm not talking. So you know me, I'm kind of special too. I make sure the connection is good. I'm looking, it's it's hardwired, so I'm like, okay, I'm good. I'm making sure I ain't kicking. Y'all ain't do nothing. Okay, boom. So then Old oh, dude, next thing you know, you hear the weapon, your host has something like you're, you know, in the, the nice, the nice, the, the, um, the, you know, the great speaking voice, like, oh, the host has ended your webinar. So all 280, 280 of us is just soul. Straight out of luck. So we like, um. So we log back in. Now, mind you, there's more than one presenter. So if one person gets kicked off, you other people have access. So you need to get on and just, hey, you know, log back in or whatever, send a mass email. But most people, reasonable expectation would be, okay, something happened. Let me log back on. All right. So we get back on. This is, like I said, 15 minutes later. Then we get on. Old dude start muting himself. So he's like, did y'all get that? So he just clicking. I mean, he just, and he is going to town, y'all. So this is the first step. And he's going through the first step, right? So we go through the first step, and then there's silence. So by the time we get volume again, he's like on step 80. So everybody, did everybody get that? So now the people, some of the people have come back because they were working there before. So they were like, yeah, I got it, because you did it before. And if I had a newspaper, I'd roll it up and I'd bop you. I got it. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Y'all don't struggle with nothing. You just got it. So I said, I guess I'm fool fool because I, you know me, I'm ready. You know, you press a little thing to raise your hand. Or oh, I got the little emoji where I'm like, I think it's like this, wondering. Anybody got any questions? So you know me. Yes, John Marie. So I'm typing. I missed step two through eighty. Then all of a sudden, everybody like, no, I ain't get it either. Wait a minute, you just said you. Where my newspaper? Where my newspaper? Where my newspaper? So yeah, so that's what I was saying in the beginning. We always have these challenges. So my challenge was to stay uh, engaged, laser focused, and awake. And so far, the two week challenge has worked. <laughs> so that was my week, and that's what I was doing. So I decided to do my conflict face because part of me wanted to say. If we having this much trouble in training, I'll let y'all finish that there. Because you should be optimistic, right? You shouldn't be like, oh, everything's going to be bad. But then I believe like this, and maybe that's my problem, being pragmatic and realistic. Like, am I going to get the support I'm going to need in order to be successful? Because like I said, people will turn around and be like, well, you were in training for four weeks, and then you had an additional nesting week to understand that you should have brought up your concerns then. You and the pig, you're looping me. Yeah. So what better way to get that off, to, to tell y'all about it, blow off the steam, do a little makeup, do a little exercise, and boom, bow, 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 bow. Mm, mm, mm. So that was it there. So that, that was that. So I was like, we do a little makeup, we'd be all right. Yep, 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 yep. So now... What I'm gonna do if I want to add a little bit more. So that's my that was my visual for y'all to see. I always like to think that uh, you know, I I uh, what y'all think? I need some more concealer. I could go a little bit more if I wasn't, but it, it's not too bad. So I think I'll leave it. I've been getting some sleep, and as you guys can see, it's not as dark. They're still brown, but I'm you know I'm working on that. Third thing is sleep. I've been working on that. So things that have to wait are waiting. You know, and things that I can take care of, I try to maximize my time. And that's what I was saying about life decisions. Like, here I am, you know, I'm investing in here, this job, and I'm like, okay, 
yeah, you got to pay your rent and do things as well too, but is it going to maximize your talents? Um, is it going to advance you to where you're going? Maybe this, you know, like we're all on the struggle bus, right? So some people get off sooner than the other people. And I feel like I've been on the bus and exchanged about four or five times. Like, okay, is it time for me to get off the struggle bus? But it's okay because you learn things. But it's like, okay, if I'm on the struggle bus and I'm going downtown or I'm going across town, is this bus going to connect me to the other bus where it's not so struggling? I don't know. Have you, Denise? Yeah. Yeah, I just don't understand. So, I mean, and then again, it just pushes what, you know, what it is I'm trying to do in this journey. Like, yeah, I'm doing makeup and I'm trying to get better because there's things that I want to do. And in order to do that, I have to be sound. So, like, I have to be spiritually sound. I have to be physically, emotionally sound. I have to, like you said, I have to get, like I was saying, I've got to get rest because this is crazy. I don't want to be looking like a raccoon, you know. I was looking at some of the videos. I was like, Ooh. I don't want to be tired all the time. So it's like, okay, maybe I, you know, not maybe I have to, I have to change the way I'm eating. I have to intake better foods for myself. I have to move around as I'm able to, which I've been doing. I have to drink more water. I have to rest. I have to detoxify myself. So I take care of my skin. As y'all saw my pictures the other day, I washed all my brushes. I nourished my skin. I gave my, my skin some, you know, some room and, and it was good. And I also detoxified relationships, you know, it's like, that's hard. People don't want to, you know, they don't want to, that's taboo. But let me tell you something, in any type of relationship, and it could even be friendships, if you're not, hey, Lou Ann, what's going on? If in the relationship, you know, you're not getting what you need as a friendship, you know, or a business relationship where you're not getting the support you need, that it's equal, not like people are constantly taken. You have to really count the cost and say, is this really worth it? So I'm still looking. I'm like, I still need a little bit of color. So I always go in with some pressed powder with my brush and then naturally what's there to kind of give myself some definition for me. Now, if your face, everybody's face is different. I have kind of a heart-shaped round combination face. So I always try, like I said, to go here and I bring it up a little bit because I like the definition because remember I was saying when you're trying to match your neck and I was like, well, this is where your neck should be. But this is, well, you know what? We're just going to say one day we'll look back and go, remember when I just had, when I had three, three chins and couldn't find my neck and just shoulders. Y'all remember that? Don't judge me. Yeah. So I'll just go in a little bit and not much. And I use my product. I don't like to OD too much. Bring it down. I'll just bring it down to about there. Um, depending on your face, you know, like I said, there, I'll stop there. You don't want to be like all the way here. And then whatever is left, I just kind of go up here a little bit to just give the nice bronze, bronzer. I would like those really, like, I would really like um, those new products that are out. Some of them are really expensive. They are nice. I got to save up the coins. But in the meantime, you got to use what you got. So, and got what you use. So that's why I always encourage y'all. So if you're going to get y'all unique products and stuff, y'all go ahead and do it. And uh, and then I go here too to give the illusion that, hey, I got a neck. Y'all see that? Get a neck. I got a neck. And then if you want to get all super, super like fancy schmancy, like I said, you know, those holiday parties are coming in. Y'all know, y'all go get your wig right. Y'all gonna get your makeup right. Y'all gonna get your shoe game right. You better get your face game right too because you can hide your, your corns and your bunions and your calluses with the right boot of shoe because it's getting cold. But let me tell you something, you can't hide this. Mm -mm. If your hair's, you know, my hair's in between the natural patches, gonna get you some fierce, fierce beauty. But I'm about this. Can't. Now I'll do a little bit of contour. And let's do my little shadow. And that's with my nice powder. And boom. Ooh, girl, y'all better shut your mouth. So, yeah. And then I'll just do this a little bit there. Just to get a little bit. Um, I'm good because I've got like a little, a little sheen from the liquid foundation, which I like. If I wanted to go in with some luminizer, I could. But I like this here. I'm good with this because... Yeah, I did my eye. I did like an exaggerant eye, so I'm okay with it. So with it looking a little bit lighter and fresh, and let me wipe my hand. Okay, now it's there. 
touched it. Not much going on. You see a little, little bit because I pressed into it there, but this is really good because you know sometimes it's like it's all over your clothes. It's really, it's really good. I use the um foundation. I use the primer. I use the foundation. You know, I've got some. You know, I use the pressed powder there. I use it as a contour, and you know, whatever is just left there, I can just really just go over it. if I'm still feeling like I still feel a little bit too light there or so forth. You still have product in the brush, and you can just kind of dust over. And then also you're giving yourself the matte finish. So now it won't look as shiny. It's pressed, it will stay there, it will last longer. You'll thank me. Now it's getting cold, you have to worry about so much of sweating and it all coming out there. But yeah, you just set it and it's good to go. So again, you know, just the contrast, just showing, you know, you see the difference there. And I did my best to match. So that's that there. So we have some story time again. But I do want to thank you all so very much for coming by and hearing story time. And let me tell you a little bit more about the products. And like I said, the foundation is there. If you guys are not already part of my John, John Marie's jam, um, Unique Jam and Journey, um, let me know. I'll go ahead and put you on that page and let you know about upcoming deals. I usually post pictures there and so forth there. And don't worry, it's not just about makeup, fellas, because guess what? We have the detox masks that are the bomb for the fellas i'm like so my son can't wait to try one and my husband has already it's very nice it's not like it's very it's very um exhilarating it's nice it's nice especially after a long week you're tired sit down and do a mask kick it with your wife you know what i'm saying uh, let me tell you something the, the ladies pay attention to the fellas who take care of their skin who take care of their nails who take care of don't be looking all raggedy you know guys used to be like oh man that's sissy stuff let me tell you something Hmm. Back in the days, I was checking a dude that, and I'm not saying put it on clear polish, but I don't want to see everything up under your nails. Cut them down and they have dry nail polish. And if that's not your thing, then it's it's important to still take care of yourself. So you get your mask and get your cleanser going. Let that skin look good because I don't want to look in your face and see all your pores and stuff when you're trying to kick it with the girl and she can see what's been going on in your past and your present. She's going to be like, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I used our lip balm. So this would be, if I was just like going to karaoke tonight, I'll be like, oh, 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 and this will work for me. Oh, well, well, this wouldn't work because this might work. I think that might work. Just show that. Don't be like, what's wrong with that lady face? Yeah, I'm posting pictures so y'all can see the, the close up of that there too. Derek, what's going on? Thanks for joining. I'm actually getting ready to say tonight, you guys that missed any part of this, you can go ahead and definitely hit the replay. It'll be back up shortly. I am also on Instagram, uh, my Facebook page, my YouTube page is coming really, really soon. So like I said, you guys can pick up stuff for your girlfriends, yourselves. Like I said, we got the masks, we got the moisturizers, great gifts. The holidays are coming, birthdays, just because get out of the doghouse gifts. Like if you who really want to get out of the doghouse, I mean, you have to be sincerely apologetic, but bearing gifts definitely doesn't, you know, doesn't hurt. So yo, what's good? You was good because you joined. Yeah, never talk about what's good. Answer me. Let me tell you something. I know you grown and all swolled and everything, but mm, you are still the little brother. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all are amazing. Thanks again for joining me on this journey. It's not just about makeup. It's just about empowering, living life, doing what you want to do, doing what makes you happy, uh, definitely finding some sort of success in that and what you like to do. Kay, what's going on? So if you find any value in this video, I do implore you to share it with your friends. I would greatly appreciate it. And y'all follow me on Instagram, on the Twitters, on the uh, YouTube. You know that channels be there. Everything is by my name, so it's all good. So you all have a great night. I hope to see you soon. I love you too, darling. You are my sweet pea, my darling, my sugar pump. Guys, smile. Just smile. Smiling is like universal in any language. And I tell you, the most tension in the world, if you just smile, life is not so bad. Pray for the people that are struggling. Pray for the people that are 
having a hard time and embrace those around you that you love, that mean the most to you, hug them more, tell them that you love them, do something special for them, do something special for you because you are important. And if you don't take care of you, the people that love you and depend on you, how are you gonna help them? All right, guys, I'll see you the next time. Leave some comments. I always go back and try to answer. You are awesome. Toodles.